Queen Anne's County, we wanted to make sure that you knew that we have some new funding opportunities available, some grant funds for our businesses as they recover from the COVID pandemic. Please make sure to check out our website for more information. If you're a local business owner or know someone that this information will benefit, it's time to perk those ears up. We spoke with Queen Anne's County Economic Development Director Heather Tonelli about a couple of grants and programs that are available to you today. Hi, I'm Heather Tonelli with Queen Anne's County Economic and Tourism Development, and I'm here today to make sure that our businesses are aware of new resources that are becoming available some today and some within the next week. As you may be aware, the federal and state government both just recently passed uh, financing or, or relief packages for our local businesses and it encompassed a lot of things. Um, so I just wanted to briefly tell you about the, the three different ones that I want to make sure you're aware of as well as tell you where to find more information. So if we start at the federal level, the funding is through the SBA or the Small Business Administration. And if you go to their website, you'll, you'll see additional information on these. But the, um, I wanted to make sure that you're aware that the PPP uh, the payroll protection program has been extended to May 31st. It was March 31st. Um, so they've extended that. They also continue to have the EIDL program open, which is the um, Economic Injury D Disaster Loan Fund. Um, that's still available. There's not a grant portion to it like it was during the first round, but please apply if you're interested in that. They're also going to be having a, I have to read what it's called, the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, which is gonna be focused on restaurants. It's not open yet, there's no links available. However, they are requiring that you fill out or that you are registered in two different systems. So we, we're hoping that you go ahead and take care of that now if you are a restaurant so that you're ready to go. And one of those systems is called SAMS. And if you go to sam.gov, it's the system for award management. You'll need to register your business there as well as you'll need to make sure that you have a DUNS number. Both those things take about a couple weeks. This program is supposed to open um, around April 8th, April 9th. So if you go ahead and take care of that, you'll be ready to go for that program. So very important. Um, so those are the, the two SBA programs that I wanted to point out. The, the next set of programs come from the state and one program actually opened today and it's called the Small Business COVID Relief our Small Business COVID Relief Grant Program. What's important about that one to note is it's only open to specific businesses and those are service-based. So think of personal professional services that don't collect Maryland sales tax. So it's not open to the general um, business population. Um, it is open today. They say grant funds are gonna move really fast. If you think back and remember the first round of grant funding, how fast some of that went through the state and federal programs, they envision that that's gonna happen with this one as well. So make sure to apply as soon as you can. Um, if you have any questions, we're here to help. They also have like a, a pre-qualification within that grant program. So when you go to apply, click on it and it's gonna ask you some questions and let you know if you're eligible before you even take the time to have to go through the full application. Another um, important piece of funding through the state is the Small Business Minority and Women's, Women Owned Business account. It's, it's through the Video Lottery Terminal Program, or VLT, and there's specific organizations that handle that funding. So if you are a small minority or women-owned business interested in that funding, please contact us, and we will make sure you get connected to the organizations that handle that and that you um, get more information on those programs. There's also some loan funds out there through the state, and one of them that I wanted to point out is the Maryland Economic Adjustment Fund, or MEAF for short. M-E-A-F, and they have small loans up to $150,000 for specific underserved businesses with 50 or few employees. All this information is on our website, but I just thought it really important to point out. So now to move on to the, the county programs, we currently have three programs that we're going to be rolling out, hopefully um, by April 5th, which is this upcoming Monday. Um, the first one is another round of restaurant funding. And it's been expanded, so this is important to know that now it includes caterers as well as bars, you know, places that don't serve food and just serve beverages. Um, and if you're unsure whether your restaurant or food service fits into that category, they have specific codes that you can look up to see if you qualify or not, and we can help you with that. 
Um, we are going to have that open on Monday. We have another round of hotel grant funds. We have about $83,000 in, in grant funds for specific hotels. And we have contacted each one of them individually to let them know that they qualify because there's quite a few parameters that they have to hit. And as you know, Queen Anne's County doesn't have a load of, of hotels and, and bed and breakfast. So we're dealing with that one. And the last one, which is brand new, is an online and teleworking grant. Um, we only received about $4,000. It was based on population. But what it's meant to use for is, is any kind of business that wants to um, move into online selling or maybe has it and wants to upgrade what they have, we could help fund that. Or if a business uh, wants to try to expand teleworking and maybe needs some sort of software or, or some component to make that happen, then this grant program um, would be able to assist in funding. All three of those programs are grant programs. We have a couple more that are on the way, and we really um, will keep you posted on that. We ask that you go to our website, choosequeenanns.com, and on the very top, it says COVID resources. And if you click on the top of that, then um, you'll see everything that I've just talked about today with links on where to apply and more information. Keep in mind, some of these things aren't open yet and some of them are, so uh, keep checking back our website. We post it on Facebook regularly. If you're part of our email list, we send it out. Um, and we're always here to ask or answer any questions you may have, as well as help with application processing. Whatever you need, we're here to help you. So visit our website today, get your information started, and let's get Queen Anne's County back to business.